Welkom, welkom, welkom. Time for some squats. En mijn weightlifting, for that matter. Ja, um, yeah, I had a break for almost a week. Because my hands were busted. For those who don't know, I did a lot of muscle ups. And I got blisters and butt blisters and everything went open. So it was very hard for me to hold uh, a barbell with the knurling I have and everything. And I want to feel secure when I do heavy lifts. By the way, I'm going to take my belt for this. And uh, yeah, I got some heavy lifts, 115. That is heavy for me. Uh, I'm no professional powerlifter or anything. So <laughs> everything in this range is, uh, yeah, is, like I said, heavy. Uh, next week, we're going to do the 117 and a half. And uh, with that, I got a one rep max. That is my PR till now. So if you do that for sets, well, I'm close to my PR now. For understanding uh, where, where I'm at. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna do some weighted dips. So I got 115 on here. Um, and I got 42.5 for my weighted dips. That is it. Still feeling a little bit sore from my thousand squats from Saturday. I'm gonna work through it. Feeling a, a lot better than a, a couple days ago. Let's go. And my hands, yeah, almost healed. I need, uh, it, is, it is close. Let me put it like that. So, they're not rupturing anymore at least. They need to fully heal, but that takes time. I can grab stuff at least. can be a little bit more stable than my lips because I was a little bit shifting with my hips I noticed but maybe I should have taken a longer warm-up also with the bar and everything I did my standard warm-up and plate in my hands and then go down to watch my time a little bit I'm feeling okay. Let's see how my second lift goes. Most of the time, in my third or fourth set, it will uh, deteriorate. Deteriorate. God damn, that is <laughs> not an easy word for me. The back is that word. But I'm glad I'm back on my weightlifting program. And I had a kind of a deload in between my block now, so don't know if we're gonna skip my deload after this. I'm gonna take advice by Rob Simpson. He's down in the description, by the way. The guy who's making my programs. Let's see what he gives for advice for me, what is best. He's more knowledgeable than me in this regard. Four. 
Four. Trein. De controle maar. Maar compleet lift. Ik wil maar niet go down too fast. I want a controlled lift. Up. But for now, it feels okay. If I have some problems, maybe in, my, in this third set, or my fourth or fifth rep, that's okay. That, was, that is to be expected. And also, some thinking, this advisable if you do heavy lifts, to repeat it often. And why? Because I was thinking, you must feel secure with it. If you don't do it very often, big lifts or heavy lifts, don't do them, I think. If you are doubtful of anything, you have to yeah, go about it. If it's, if, it, if it is smart to do or not, I think. Something just going over in, inside of my head. Always thinking is hey, yeah, how to do stuff and what is best and what not. I'm learning as I go. Every session, every time. Another thing I noticed also lately that when I did this stuff in the beginning I had problems with my knees that they were caving in you know going like this in my lift when I go up when I go when I was going real heavy and now it is way way less sure they move a little bit to the, to the inside but very very little And I want them to be straight and stable, of course. But whew, feeling happy with my, with my lifts. There is always room for improvement with everything I do. But, well, yeah. I do, uh, yeah. I'm a little bit satisfied. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Yeah, uh, lucky I had that not with my lifting. That would be bad. <sighs> feeling good, feeling good. And it's good. I also need to do more high rep uh, squats, bodyweight squats. Because I think they, they, they destroy your legs. And you can do a lot in a very short time. But I believe in a combination of doing things. High volume. Low volume, fast, slow, you need to do it all. And of course, we're better at certain things than others, but I think the variety will make you stronger. I talked about it in a comment today, I don't remember quite to, to, to whom, but somebody's listening and thinks, hey, that was me, uh, put it in a comment.
Sí. Ah, fue. Te suave. Sorry for the uh, sexy noises. Oh, heel happy. And I don't know when it was, but I got not last block I think, but block before that I got a fill. I thought it was on my 112 health. To do now my 115, four times five without fill. That is for me even an accomplishment. And uh, next week we got 117 and half. If I do, even if I do two reps, <laughs> only two reps, I was doing more than I ever have done. I'm gonna break my PR. And next block, I'm gonna move up to the 120. That is what I'm waiting for. <sighs> so, we're gonna. Um, switch the stuff. I'm gonna go over to the wait it tips, and I want my yeah, I want my twenties. I want two twenties. Two twenties on two and a half. So. Oh, I had a bit of a runny nose, I want my airways to be clear. Like so. So nice. I was saying this, this changing of place and everything. It's also a nice, nice rest. And also for the nervous system, because you can handle some big weights, but the nervous system is always being taxed, and you don't always notice that. You know, noticing that when you're doing your stuff. At least I. Not really when you're not doing anything. So you have muscle fatigue, but another thing is nervous system fatigue, if I, is, is how I call it. And also, sometimes I do um, a couple days after each other with heavy ass workouts. And uh, so I can do holy grills for, for two days after each other. And uh, then I do that on purpose or something, routine, something like that, because I want to overload my nervous system. And sometimes if I do a uh, thousand burpees or a shot color routine, I'm fine the next day. So my nervous system is not that taxed. In the beginning when I did this, it was, I need to recover for four weeks <laughs> after a shot color, but now it's not that taxed. So I want multiple days after each other taxing my nervous system. And with that, I'm gonna build that endurance in my nervous system. And that is maybe a topic that is not spoken of very much. Still need to learn how to explain that properly, I think. But uh, yeah, yeah you, you have muscle soreness or muscle fatigue. Uh, and, you, you, and you can just be tired, you know? Uh, when you do a lot of cardio stuff. But you have also the nervous system fatigue. Not very... Um, Touched upon, I believe. And that's also the reason why 
you, uh, if you understand that, how you can get stronger and faster. If you understand that a little bit. So when do you need to use your willpower and not? Oh, um, what I need to do. Do I want? Oh, I got them. In the 45, I got them 13. In the 40, I got them 15. So we shoot for an uh, full for a 14. Yeah. Should I should shoot for a 14. Yeah. Got a threat. By the way, to not curse that much on videos. It's better for the elbow rhythm. I understand it. But that is one. I'm saying I can do that. Sometimes I forget, I'm simply excited, but ha! happy. A couple of days of relative easier stuff is doing wonders. Second set coming up. Dum, 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 dum. <coughs> <clears throat> what should I shoot for? No. 13? Realistic? Maybe 14, but I'm really strong today. Set, stay tuned. Okay, that's it. <coughs> Let's see if he can stay happy. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. That's my goal, 13.
Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Your last rep shaking. They know you worked to fill you. Happy. 15, 14, 13. Overall went better this session than I expected. Really, really happy. So uh, yeah, on to the next session. Salute. So